Hello everyone, this is King Kunalti. This video I will show you how to do this wall switch, a momentary switch for a single click the H32BS and a double click and hold on we have many different work mode and how to integrate it by the node rent. You can see I can press this button and you will see this relay 1 and relay, relay 2 you can see I can press one click uh, you can see this is on and uh, one click uh, you can see this is off but if I can use this double click uh, you can see I can turn on relay 1 and relay 2 like this double click and you can see relay 1 and relay 2 is on and also I can define the hold on I can turn off this relay 1 and relay 2 like this I hold on and you can see uh, this uh, two channel of relay is turned off so you can define uh, many different buttons uh, for many different things mode uh, by any, any logical uh, so you can uh, define the one, this one key uh, for turn on sound relay and sound relay off on and this one is for sound relay to get on or off so it's up to you so now I will tell you how to use this by the node red you can see I have connect with these two lines uh, K1 and K2 just for demo so I can connect with this uh, 15 and the 16 channel of the switch input because this ground is at here uh, so it's nearby uh, it's easy to connect with the Y so I can test with this uh, 15 and the 16 channel now I will tell you how to use this uh, by the node red Okay, this is our node red. We have created the photo. I will show this photo on our form, and you can download uh, just to use it directly. But now I will tell you the principle of the node red to integrate with the switch and the H32BS. At first, you can see we have released the new firmware of 1.43. Because at this new version, we have added this command uh, for toggling the relay. Just means uh, you can see this is. Before the old version have this is on and off just for one and for zero uh, for the command uh, for the payload and now we have added this on we have added the two that means you can toggling uh, the relay that means you can before the relay off and become on and on become off so you need need you not need to read the state uh, as last time so this is the new function for you click a uh, single click uh, for the talking can be used and after you download this freeware and update for your h 32 ps then you can see I can open this node red and uh, uh, this is MQTT output we need to use uh, this is MQTT input uh, that we need to read the wall switch how many times you have pressed and this is MQTT for output that means you need let this node to control your output for relay on and off you can see the command uh, you can see this command we can download from our website uh, you can see how to control relay on and off uh, uh, that is uh, for the switch uh, for the relay just like this relay one is on and the relay one is off so you can just uh, uh, place a node for a test uh, this inject and uh, we can double click uh, this node this is MQTT out just uh, input your server and the part of MQTT maybe you have installed on the Raspberry Pi I have installed on my computer because for the demo so the mosquito also is working on my Windows computer uh, maybe you have Linux computer and I have running this node red and the topic I uh, just use this topic uh, this is ID and the set and this is for zero uh, this is for true uh, it's very easy and uh, now you can see it connected when connected you can test inject inject a uh, stream uh, you can see uh, this I can choose to one that means you can deploy now you can see I can press uh, this button uh, this is really on but I press again again and again uh, this also is really on so I can double click, I can change to zero, that is turn off relay one. So I can down and deploy. Then you can see I can press this button, uh, see this LD. Uh, you can see uh, this LD is off. And we can now uh, just send the on is one, 
is on and the zero is off. But I can click and change to change to number two and press and deploy and you can see I can press this button and see this LD and you can see I can turn on and off and turn on and turn off so this is for talking just change the state with talking so if you can see this in our website we can also turn on relay one you can see I turn on relay one but at this time I can press this button that is off if I refresh, if I have this is off, uh, and then press this button is turn on. So this is change the state. Okay, this is how to uh, send command by MQTT to counter the, this output. Now we just need to read the uh, button how many times you have pressed, and for the judgment, and uh, go to the different way uh, you can for different functions and you can see we have make three uh, demo functions uh, this is one click a single click for turn on relay, uh, relay one is talking and this is two uh, i press a double click uh, this relay one is on and delay uh, 0 0.2 second and will be a relay on relay two will be also on and this is hold on hold on the button and the relay one is off and the relay two all is off so we can see how this works and we can double click the mqtt input and you can see also is as seen as the output node uh, just the ip address and the part of the mqtt block and the topic uh, just use the state this is state uh, this output is set this is different and this output uh, press this uh, johnson object and uh, you can see uh, when you press OK, you can see it's connected. And now we can place this debug toy and clear. And when I press this button, you can see I press this button one click. And you can see uh, this is the feedback. You can see uh, this button 16 is on. That means when I have clicked one time, uh, sorry, I have used this uh, 15. You can see I can. Press this 15, and you can see this is 15 feedback. Uh, this 15 uh, is 1. I can double click, double click. And you can see uh, this is 16, 15, sorry, 15, and this on is 2. So I have pressed 2, and I can press the 3, 1, 2, 3. And you will get the feedback uh, switch 15 is 3. You can see this 3. So I can press 4 times, it will feedback 4. I can press 5 times, it will feedback 5. So you can see here is the uh, protocol. You can see uh, many times it can be used. Uh, max is 6, uh, 6 times. And the hold down will feedback the 99, 99. So we can, according this number, this number, this number, and use this switch. Uh, we can uh, use the different for different functions. And this is feedback. Uh, this is the JSON format. And this function node, I can double click. That is to split uh, the value of the arm. You can see, because I have used for this uh, 15 channel switch, so this is return payload, msg dot payload is switch 15 dot on so we can get the number of the switch 15 the on times so you can see i can connect with this line delete and we can connect with this function behind this function you can see i can clear clear this and i can press this 15 switch again press one time and you can see this is very easy. Just output one and uh, double click. And you can see this output two. And I can hold on. And you can see uh, this is 99. So this is feedback, just only one number. Uh, this is uh, the date type is number. So we can just use this switch. Uh, we can double click this switch function. 
So this is uh, the switch, the payload. Uh, if it's it equal 1, equal 2, equal 99, so we'll get, go to this uh, V1, V2, V3. So we can cancel and uh, place this function again. Uh, this just for one click, that talking really one. So we can double click. Uh, you can see this payload is really one. R is two. That means the two is talking uh, for the relay one. So we just uh, replace the payload for different functions. And then you can see uh, this is click, uh, double click. We need to turn on relay one and turn on relay two. So I can double click. You can see uh, this payload is turn on relay one, and this payload is turn on relay two. So if you want to turn on many relays, uh, you can just uh, copy and uh, paste and uh, copy and uh, paste. Uh, you can place many different uh, output. Uh, you just uh, connect with the, with the one and with the one and with the one. So you can let many multi-relay output channel uh, turn on and turn off. It's up to you. I can delete this. And this is just a delay time. You can double click. And you can see I can uh, set for second, or you can set for different hour, day, minute, or millisecond. It's up to you. And uh, cancel. So this is a turn on relay one, a delay 0 0.2 second will turn on relay two. Uh, so this is for double click. And if you want to uh, use by the three click or four click, you, you just uh, change it. You just uh, change the switch, uh, this number. Uh, this number changed will be for different times uh, do the functions. And this is hold down. We can double click uh, the hold down. We just uh, turn off relay one and uh, turn off relay two. This is turn off relay two. So, and at last, you can connect with the waste line and to this output, MQTT output, and this uh, to the output, and this to the output, and this to the output, and this to the output. So when you uh, one, one click as a button, you just uh, do this function. And you just uh, uh, press two click, a uh, double click, it will be do this function and do this function. And you can press this three times, or hold down this, the buttons. It will be do this function and do these functions. So it's very easy for one button uh, for different function. And that's this HCD2BS output. So this is a example for you how to define this key uh, for the different channel relay output for many things. Okay, thanks for watching.